Hi everyone, it's Donna with Embroidery.com. Today I'm going to show you how to use our brand new cross stitch calculator. To find our new cross stitch calculator from the main page, go to Hand Embroidery, and there you will see the cross stitch calculator. So you can click into it. So you can see here that it's got. Um, stitches wide, stitches high, fabric count, fabric type, the X is covering threads, your margins and extras. So let's say we are doing um, the December Topaz Fairy for Mirabilia. That stitch count is 155 by 217. Now, since we have um, put in 28 count, that's what it's going to come up as, we can change this to whatever count uh, we want it to be, um, you know, and it will then change the fabric type. So if we click on 14 count, it'll change it over to Ada. It will also change it over to 1, because with Ada you uh, go from hole to hole. With linen you go over 2. Um, and it automatically puts in our margins and our extra. I always recommend three inches all the way around um, to have enough for uh, stretching and framing and anything else you want to do. It will also then show us our stitch area, our extras, um, our margins and our extras. And then it will tell us our custom cut size. So 17 and a half by 21 and a half. So if you noticed when I changed it to 14 count, all the swatches around changed as well. So if I switch it back to 28 count, it changes it over to Jobalon and it changes it back to two. Now I can go in here and I can say, okay, well I want a linen. And it will again change my swatches to all be linen. And these are the options in linen that I can choose from. Or if I want an even weave like Jobalon, it will again change uh, my swatches, my color options of what is available in Jobalon. Now I can go through and I can select any one of these. Um, it will change the background here. Now our fabric doesn't necessarily look like this. It looks more like what the swatches look like. Um, this is just a repeating pattern. But you can see on the image here where your cross stitch area is going to be, your margin and your extra. And then of course my finish size, 17 and a half by 21 and a half. Down here below the name is a button called select piece. So I'm going to select that piece. That's the piece I've chosen I want. It's going to come up into um, that, co that fabric color and count. So blue moon, double on 28 count. It will show you all the pieces that we have um, available um, in that color and that size. Um, and again, it will come up with the custom cut size as well. So I've got the 22 by 18, it rounds up. So if there are half, half inches, it'll round up. Um, and then you can simply click on the custom cut icon. It adds it to your cart and you can just simply follow the checkout process. Um, and it's that simple. You can now check out um, any, any pattern you have. You can figure out um, what size you're gonna need. Um, simply by putting in uh, the stitch count and then what kind of fabric you want and it will determine your your custom cut size um, for you which is great so much easier than trying to figure it out so okay well that is it for today's video on our brand new uh, cross stitch calculator head over to my needlework blog on embroidery.com I will have um, detailed descriptions of, of the process of how to use our calculator, um, as well as links to all of our fabric and stitchables. Make sure you turn your notifications on as that's how you'll know a new video is up. And as always, I love to hear your comments and suggestions, so leave those for me below. Thanks for tuning in everyone, happy stitching, and we'll see you next time, bye.